Hello, this is Ashutosh Devedi here, and just you are most welcome on my YouTube channel, ASU Official 2021. And today I'm here with an interesting person, Josh Mohan Sir from Kerala, southern part of our country. I think uh, so. I would like to talk about the journey of him, how he became really interested about English speaking skills. So, firstly, I would like to listen the introduction of him. So, Josh Mohan Sir, please. Okay, I will give introduction. See, my full name is Jose Mohan, and I am from Kerala, and I am living in Kochi. Kochi is my uh, birthplace. Okay, regarding my profession, I was working with Indian Overseas Bank. I got retirement four years back in the year ninety two thousand sixteen. I got retirement. Regarding my family, I have son and daughter. now they are working and my wife she has got a retirement from bsnl these are my personal matters okay it's it's really nice to listen about your introduction and of course uh, you are from the family of four guys except uh, you and your wife you have two kids like your uh, one son and one daughter so of course thanks for giving me your personal details now i would like to know sir of course uh, about your age you are an old guy now so i would like to know one interesting fact about you how you became i uh, think interested about english speaking skills at this age see um, this is a story uh, i was a i was big zero when i was studying in schools and colleges big zero means in english i failed three times when in 10th class because of english similarly i failed three times when i was studying for bcom it was also because of english and uh, i was unable to speak english till my 60th age till my retirement i was not able to speak with others fluently but i was uh, interested in some philosophical a group discussion groups and i had a practice of conduct, uh, conducting and participating uh, different philosophical group discussions there i found it very difficult to convey my ideas and to understand the idea of other people because some people from uh, they are coming from other states of india and even some people are coming from abroad also there i found it very difficult to understand and to speak english because of this reason i joined in one spoken english institute in our city kochi there i paid 3500 rupees also but uh, it 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 uh, didn't help me because there they were teaching grammar like has have had is am are was were then i requested my teacher no to stop this grammar class i requested him to talk in english with me that has helped me a lot and simultaneously when i was attending his class i started one spoken english institute without any fees on the first day i got uh, 36 students and i continued this and i got more than 400 students and uh, out of this uh, 4000 uh, i am sorry 400 about 10% we can say 40 uh, students of this group they have become very fluent in english and now they can speak english and even they are capable of delivering pu public speeches in english also so what i understood when we teach others we can learn more things so this technique i applied here i taught others english i arranged some in spoken english classes and still i am continuing that uh, spoken english classes because of covid 19 i am nowadays uh, it is not possible to conduct regular classes therefore now i conduct classes on uh, social media whatsapp so these are the uh, methods what i have taken to learn english and still i believe that i am not a master of english but i believe that i can communicate 
I can communicate with any person from any country. I can tell uh, my ideas to others and I can understand what others speak. With this English, I am satisfied. Okay, now you can ask any other questions. Yeah, it's really I can say that it's really well answered and I'm really appreciating about your initiative, whatever you took uh, in the past. And now the lot more persons, they are learning this kind of language. And there's a no barrier between the another country's person, even from the Indians. We can just talk and we can put our views. Because sometimes you told me whatever uh, you were really interested in doing the philosophical uh, conversations. And at that time, you were getting this kind of barrier to talk with the people. So due to that, now you are running a one institution there you are uh, giving this kind of knowledge to the people, how we can talk in English. That's really wonderful. And of course, I think in this answer, I got that you are really helping person. And of course, you are helping me a lot as well. Of course, I'm talking uh, to you uh, from the last few months and you are helping me a lot. So of course, it is showing you helping nature. And you're really, really, I can say that uh, really nice guy. And I'm really ecstatic to listen that. So, but of course, I would like to know, sir, and uh, you started your journey after 60. So which kind of thing uh, you started doing like that to, I think, speak better? And which kind of main key, I think, points you would like to suggest to the people in few months, they can do this kind of practice and they can become better and they can speak conversational English. Okay, uh, I will tell you the most important uh, step that I have taken is talking with others. There are several areas through which we can develop our fluency and mastery in English. Like we can uh, learn grammar books and uh, there are spoken English textbooks. We can learn these spoken English textbooks and there are several institutes that teach English. We can go there. But all these things will help us to develop our English. But there is only one thing. When we talk with others, we get more knowledge and fluency to speak in English. So I strongly believe that talking is the most important method or technique to, do, to develop our fluency and mastery in English. All other things will help us, certainly. There is no doubt when we refer uh, grammar books, it will help us, there is no doubt. And we can watch uh, YouTube videos and we can listen to BBC English news. All these things will help us, there is no doubt. But again and again, I repeatedly say that only when we talk with others, especially when we talk with different people, we will get different ideas, we will get uh, different uh, knowledge from different people, and we will get chance to talk with different people. This will help us to uh, talk English in a very fast manner. This is the only one method through which we can develop fluency and mastery very quickly. Oh, that's great answer. Uh, you're just focusing like that. We have to talk to the people more and more and we, we can develop our speaking skills, right? And so what about the another question? Of course, I want to know like that you are using this word again and again, like fluency. So what do you think, which kind of meaning and definition in your opinion about like fluency? Like uh, I'm going to tell like the few people, they are mis uh, making this kind of misconception. They're thinking if they will speak English like a super fast train, so they are going to be a better speaker in the society. What do you think it is right or wrong? Okay, many people believe that only when they speak English quickly or fast, then only their English will be better English. That is, in my view, that is a wrong idea. When we speak clearly, that English is very good. Because when we speak English, the listener must understand. We have to convey our idea. For that, we have to speak slowly. But important thing is we must speak clearly. So we have, I, I am concentrating on clear English and simple English. I, I don't want to speak English just like as you said, you, what is it? Train, super fast train. I don't want to speak like a super fast train or a machine gun or a rocket. There are people who speak in just like rocket. And uh, listeners will not understand anything. 
therefore i strongly believe that there is no meaning in speaking english just like a rocket we have to speak clearly we have to put pauses now i am putting pauses in between sentences what benefit we are getting what we speak to others the listeners will understand 100% but when we speak just like a rocket the listeners will understand 0% that is my idea perhaps you you may not agree with me i don't know i am telling my idea now you can share yeah of course in according to me as well of course i am not following like i don't want to speak like super fast i would like to speak english like that the people they can understand me easily of course this is only i'm using this uh, the commune the word commune the meaning of that to share of course i want to share if i'm talking to you and of course if you aren't able to understand whatever i'm saying what is the meaning of that communication right so of course i'm not talking about only the english speaking skills that is all about communication skills and the communication it means to say in that way the another person can understand you easily so it should be my i think you know uh, focus in should be my purpose to i think you know deliver the things 100% i will try my level best after that also if the person they aren't understanding might be i'm doing something wrong or they are doing something wrong but i'm trying my level best to make them understand and uh, for me also the meaning of fluency it's not like that to speaking like a super fast train it's like a simple just normal and speak really clearly the people they can understand about from the right pronunciation of the words what i'm speaking so this of course i'm totally agree with you and of course you are you whatever you told that is exactly right so and now i'm coming with a question like that which kind of things you would like to suggest to the guys in their 20s right now you are an experienced guy right and you have a lot more experience so which kind of things you have you are feeling like that we have to do in our early age so it can give uh, us a lot more benefits okay yeah see uh, i am talking about my experience when i was in 20s or or when i was in schools and colleges at that time i have not studied english but nowadays i have seen many youngsters they learn english they spend time to learn english and they do hard work to control to make mastery in english i have seen hundreds and hundreds of youngsters especially i have seen youngsters from north india like up and many other states i have seen yeah, you are from, i think you are from up i have seen a very good number of youngsters from up they are doing hard work and hard work is important how can we do this hard work we have to learn english several methods are there first of all we have to learn grammar so we have to buy a grammar book nowadays all this grammar is available in internet just if, just we can ask questions to google guruji google guruji will teach the whole grammar very easily even there is no need to buy a textbook we have to learn grammar and uh, moreover we have to talk with different people for that at present there is a facility this facility uh, came came to existence only because of covid 19 and only because of corona only because of corona several whatsapp groups have formed hundreds and hundreds of whatsapp groups are there we can join in this whatsapp group and uh, if i am telling one whatsapp group is there its name is central english whatsapp group and one mr prashant and hardik they are leading they are and uh, i don't know I, i i do not remember the name of other admins but i must say the name of mr hardik and prashant they are uh, looking after this group in a in an excellent manner if we join this central english whatsapp group we will get chance to talk with different people and uh, there is not only central english whatsapp group there are several other whatsapp groups i don't remember the name of other whatsapp groups if you join in one whatsapp group you will get connections to sub- several other whatsapp groups in this whatsapp group we can see good people mostly members are uh, added into this group by selection only 
they do not add bad people always they select good people and there we can meet good people with whom we can speak in english we can practice english therefore i recommend youngsters to join in this group of whatsapp uh, speaking youngsters this is the best method even this is suitable for old people uh, like me also and somebody said i am a buddha atme buddha atme means old man now i am talking with youngsters through this whatsapp groups therefore i congratulate all admins those who have uh, created this whatsapp okay yes of course and uh, yeah of course i'm really happy after listening this kind of answers from your side so of course uh, now i i can say that i want to conclude this kind of con i think you know discussion but in the last i would like to i think you know uh, give a chance to you to give a three things to other person who can learn in their early age even i think doesn't it is just like a number you know very well so we can learn and it can make a help uh, to our life to become a very i think beautiful person so which kind of three things you would like to suggest to the guys okay now you are asking how can we uh, make our english better and you are asking me to share three three points but if you ask me to share three points there are more than three points if you give if you give me time i can tell you 30 points but anyhow i will think about three points first important point you have to join in any whatsapp group and you have to talk with others that is number one point number two there are several whatsapp group through which we can make a video calls so when we talk to others face to face again it will help us to learn more things from the other person at the same time it will help us to develop our confidence level to talk with any person in this world so that is the second thing we have to do video chats then uh, final important thing that i have noticed those who have developed fluency in english they have done very important thing that is what is called hard work those who have done hard work they have made achievements so we have to work hard that is most important thing in one day or in one week we are not going to achieve anything so if we if you want to achieve fluency and mastery in english you have to work hard and consistency you have to do this hard work consistently so with this three points i am concluding if you are permitting me to ask more points i can give you 30 points but i am not sharing it at present okay yeah of course uh, i can say that uh, these are three points are really important because mostly the people they would like to know the most important things whatever you told me that's really uh, like uh, effective i know very well so uh, of course the i will say that now it's the time to conclude our i think conversation so thank you so much jos